Quantum computers are expected to be thousands, even millions of times faster than regular computers, and perform calculations more efficiently. Unlike classical computers, a quantum computer's transistor is on the scale of atoms and molecules, where things get strange. Particles are said to exist in a superposition of states. Their physical properties are expressed as probabilities. While classical computers use bits, zeros and ones, quantum transistors encode quantum information using zeros, ones and a mix of zero and one. With superpositions, a quantum bit or qubit can store multi-dimensional computing data of much greater complexity. This is because that mixing lifts the capacity of binary information you can store in a single bit and the possibilities become infinite. Equally importantly, when superpositions are extended over multiple qubits, you have an entangled state, where one is correlated to another. Changes to one qubit can affect the other, and this has potential for unhackable encryption. But the same effects which make quantum computers so powerful make them difficult to produce and turn into useful machines. The probabilistic nature of quantum systems means they are error-ridden. They're currently the size of rooms, cost millions to make, and require near absolute zero temperatures to operate. So don't expect a quantum laptop just yet.